Hello dear children welcome you to our class for the lesson a legend of northland and the poet is of this poem is phoebe carey and we have seen that this poem just focused on the location of northland where the place is very cold and you know that the night is longer and the days are shorter and people in those places enjoy sledging with reindeers during snowfall and also we see that the young ones were uh, look like bear cubs as they were covered with fur coats because of the cold climate so these are some of the important things that we have seen in the last class and also we have seen that this poem just talks about a legendary story that just uh, moves around or said in the snowland with relation to northland okay so let's continue listening to the poem a legend from the northland okay so the continuation Once when the good saint Peter lived in the world below and walked about it preaching just as he did you know and we see that the story goes like this once there lived a holy saint named Peter last day we have seen who that Peter was Peter was a saint who went on different places of the earth preaching the gospel of god or religious uh, preachings okay so he moved from one place to another giving religious speeches and uh, messages to the people and he traveled from one place to another just like all saints do because his intention was to give the message or gospel of god to all the people so as he was just moving around from one place to another in this year then one day one incident happened okay then what was that incident the next four lines is that He came to the door of a cottage in traveling round the earth where a little woman was making cakes and baking them on the hearth. So as a part of his preaching as a part of uh, his message that was given to the whole world he moved from one place to another and uh, all of a sudden or one day he reached in front of a small cottage and in this and in this small cottage uh, there was a lady who was baking cakes okay In this cottage there was a small lady a small lady a little woman who baked cakes okay and it was her business she used to cake uh, bake cakes and in the hearth hearth means in the fireplace just like in the oven uh, baking cakes in the oven and she just keeps inside her stove so we see that uh, in this uh, legendary story saint peter just moved around the earth or the world traveling from one place to another one day he happened to uh, come in front of a cottage cottage means a house and uh, the owner of the house was a little woman who baked uh, cakes okay and uh, she just uh, baked cake from from the oven and she keeps in the store she was a business woman who just sells cakes okay and being faint with fasting and for the day was almost done he asked her from her store of cakes to give him a single one so we have seen that this uh, saint peter who was tired okay tired after preaching from different places he was feeling faint what is that fainting fainting means so tired because of hungry okay he was starving and he can't walk anymore he feels like uh, unconscious because the entire day he has not eaten anything his only intention was to preach the gospel of god so likewise he moved from one place to another so what happened when he reached in front of this lady's house he asked for what he asked for one cake see there are many cakes in the store she has baked a lot of cakes and it was kept in the stove okay so when this saint peter came in front of her house he was so tired he was feeling so hungry he has not eaten anything the entire day and he was feeling like fainting unconscious he, he can't control his hunger okay so he asked for only one cake from the many cakes which was kept in the store he asked for a baked cake to satisfy his hunger okay to get a relief from his hunger only one cake he didn't ask more than one cake then what was the attitude okay then what the next line says so she made a very little cake but as it baking lay she looked at it 
and thought it seemed too large to give away so what happened when the saint peter asked for one cake she looked at the store oh all the cakes in the store are big enough see i am giving one cake for free so what she thought let me make a small cake because all the cakes which was kept in the shelf or in the store are big cakes she doesn't wanted to give that because it's for charity it's for free she was just giving it to a saint so she can't take money from the saint so what she did she thought of preparing a very small cake immediately she needed a small amount of flour to bake the cake so after just kneading the cake she just put the batter for baking in the oven and what happened as she was looking she saw that when the cake was baked it seemed to be a big cake okay so she looked at the cake no i can't give this cake because it was what big enough to give a what is it this is this cake is big enough i can't give a big cake free to a person especially to this saint so she was greedy enough to give away the large cake to the saint what she did she slowly uh, kept this cake in the shelf and she saw that oh no let me prepare another one therefore she needed another and a little smaller one but it looked when it turned it over as large as the first had done so what happened for the second time she took half of the flour that they had she had taken the first time this time she had taken only half of the flour and she started kneading okay in order to bake the cake and now she was happy that at this time the cake is not going to be bigger like the first one and once she kept the batter inside the oven we see that the cake was becoming as big as the first one even though she took only a smaller amount of flour to make this cake she was not even ready to believe her eyes this cake now the second cake that she prepared with a very small amount of flour seemed to be as big as the first cake so naturally what happened she thought no i can't give this one also because this is also bigger i'm not going to give this let me keep back to the shelf okay she just kept the second cake also back to the shelf then what happened then she took a tiny scrap of dough and rolled and rolled it flat and baked it thin as a wafer but she couldn't part with that what happened what this four line says so so here we see that this miser lady miser lady is means stingy lady she is very what is that term ah oh. very stingy or miser lady who was not ready to give a big cake to this saint now for the third time she took a scrap scrap means very small tiny okay maybe a handful or a spoon spoonful of flour what is happen then she needed this very small amount of flour needed then she flattened what is that she rolled and rolled with the help of a roller she rolled and rolled it to very flat very small size of flat uh, batter was prepared then she put it for baking and when she would put this uh, batter for baking it was only the size of a wafer you know that wafer is so thin and crispy isn't it and easily it get dissolved once we put in our mouth so she took the batter of this cake like that of a wafer it's like the size of a wafer but what happened when it was baked this cake also seemed to be so big she can't believe it see three times she baked cake for whom for the saint all this time who was standing outside a saint was standing outside or he was waiting there for the cake he was so hungry he was tired he was feeling how oh, is it um, so like just like unconscious because he was uh, he had not eaten the entire day he just asked only for a small cake but she was not ready to take one from the shelf she was just preparing new new cakes that too very small because she doesn't wanted to give the bigger ones which was in the shelf for the third time also when she had seen that the cake is big enough she was not ready to give she put the cake into her shelf then the next line says that for she said 
my cakes that seems too small when i eat of them myself and are yet too large to give away so she put them on the shelf so what happened so this time she says that what is happening here i don't understand whenever i bake a cake for myself that seem to be too small but when i prepared a cake that is to be given to someone that cake seems to be bigger and she don't understand why is it like this what is the reason see she prepared it for the saint that too for giving it free so what happened god might have just deliberately made the cake bigger isn't it so when once you give something to for charity or someone this less or this form indirectly says that you should not give the smaller one you should be giving a bigger one the best thing from your home isn't it likewise even though her mentality is to give a smaller one once she was preparing it to give for a saint for free automatically the cake was uh, has begun larger and larger it becomes so bigger and bigger okay so she says that no i can't understand i don't understand why the cakes that i prepare for myself become so smaller and the ones that i'm preparing for some other people that two for free becoming so bigger and bigger she was not ready to give this three cakes what she did she put the third one also to her shelf okay and uh, she thought of keeping it to her shelf she was not ready to give the first cake second cake third cake you should understand one thing for this three cakes the amount of flour that she had taken is very small but still then the cake has become more bigger and larger okay and she kept the cake to her shelf without giving this to the saint so what happened there then the good saint peter grew angry for he was hungry and faint and surely such a woman was enough to provoke a saint so what happened here it says that the good saint why it was said good saint because this saint peter was moving from one place to another preaching the gospel of god said it he wanted all the people to be good enough in order to uh, understand the preaching and also accept god okay so what happened he just uh, that's why it says it good saint peter or uh, this peter just went on preaching about god good thing and he know patience very much that's maybe one of the reason why he waited so long for the cake in this cottage so what happened he waited for a long period of time for a cake he already knows that the shelf is full of cake he she could have given one cake then it she doesn't know the person who is standing outside she doesn't know this is saint peter annoyingly she made the person wait for a long time for a cake then it so what happened slowly and steadily the tired hungry saint peter becoming slowly and steadily he started becoming angry okay okay then the selfish woman was not ready to give even a small cake to the saint see she has prepared three cakes now and that seemed to be very bigger when she went to keep it in the shelf she would have searched for a small one from there isn't it she didn't do that she didn't had the mentality to give at least the smallest one in the shelf to the saint peter or the person who was standing outside because she doesn't wanted to give anything free to anyone she was having a what is that a greedy mentality she may be thinking only about earning money okay that's only her focus that's why this behavior of the lady provoked the saint what is provoked instigated the saint you know that he is a saint of god saint peter he was having some magical powers so he was provoked instigated he become so angry and the attitude of the lady cannot be accepted by the saint peter okay so that anchored that made our saint peter angry okay so let's see what he is going to do in the next class okay before winding up okay by the time you have to go through the poem you have to read the lines understand the lines and see it for yourself next day let's see actually what happened in between saint peter and the little baker okay so have a nice day god bless you thank you